Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this really interesting problem. Our given function f of x plus y equal to f of x plus f of y plus x times y. And if f of 4 equals to 10, then what is going to be the value of f of 20, 21? So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this f of 4 equals to 10. And we know that this is an even number. So let's start off with our x equal to 2 and y equals to 2 values. And here's our given function f of x plus y. So I'm going to replace x by 2 and y by 2 as well. Therefore, we are going to get f of 2 plus 2 and let's fill in the blanks over here f of 2 plus f of 2 and then plus 2 times 2. On the left hand side f of 2 plus 2 become f of 4 equal to here these are like terms so I can write 2 times f of 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4 but we know that f of 4 is 10 so I'm going to replace this f of 4 by 10. So this simply become 10 equal to 2 times f of 2 plus 4. Let's move this 4 on the other side. So that is going to give us 10 minus 4 equal to 2 times f of 2. So that's going to give us 6 equal to 2 times f of 2 let's divide both side by 2 so that means our f of 2 turns out to be simply 3 and here's our next step before we proceed we know that f of 4 equals to 10 and we also figured out f of 2 equals to 3 in our previous step and now let's consider x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 values and here's our given function f of x plus y let's go ahead and fill in the blanks our x value is 1 and y value is 1 as well so that's going to become f of 1 plus 1 equal to f of 1 plus f of 1 again and then plus 1 times 1. So on the left hand side 1 plus 1 is going to become f of 2 equals to here these are like terms so this is going to become 2 times f of 1 plus 1 times 1 is 1. Now we know that f of 2 equals to 3 so I'm going to replace this f of 2 by 3. So this could be written as 3 on the left hand side 2 times f of 1 plus 1 let's move this 1 on the left hand side so 3 minus 1 equals to 2 times f of 1 so this becomes 2 equals to 2 times f of 1 let's divide both sides by 2 so that means our f of 1 turns out to be equal to 1. Here's our next step. Before we proceed, we know our f of 4 equals to 10, f of 2 equals to 3, and we know f of 1 equals to 1. Now let's try one more set of numbers, x equal to 1 and y equals to 2. And here's our given function f of x plus y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to become f of 1 plus 2 equals to f of 1 plus f of 2 plus 1 times 2. And on the left hand side this become f of 1 plus 2 is f of 3 equals to f of 1 plus f of 2 and then plus 1 times 2 is 2. Now we know that f of 1 equals to 1 and f of 2 equals to 3. So therefore f of 3 equals to f of 1 is 1 plus f of 2 is 3 plus 
2 so thus our f of 3 turns out to be equal to 6 and here's our next step so far we have figured out f of 1 equals to 1 f of 2 equal to 3 f of 3 equal to 6 f of 4 equal to 10 and we know that these are called triangular numbers so we can write these numbers as a function of n equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and now we are going to prove this conjecture that f of n equals to n times n plus 1 divided by 2 by using this induction principle. And now let me show you how to use this induction method. First, I'm going to try n equals to 1. Let's fill in the blanks in this function. So f of 1 equal to here we also going to put it 1 times 1 plus 1 divided by 2 so that means f of 1 turns out to be this simply become 2 1 times 2 is 2 divided by 2 is 1 so thus our statement is true for n equals to 1 and now let's assume that this statement is true for n equals to k that means that over here I'm going to replace n by k so this is going to become f of k equals to k times k plus 1 divided by 2 and now we will show that this is also true for n equals to k plus 1 that is f of k plus 1 equals to k plus 1 times k plus 2 divided by 2 is also true. Now let's start with the function f of k plus 1 and if we compare this one with our given function our x is going to be k and y equals to 1 so this could be written as f of k plus f of 1 plus k times 1 and we know that f of k is simply k times k plus 1 divided by 2 and we know f of 1 is simply 1 plus k times 1 is k so I can write this one as k times k plus 1 divided by 2 and this thing I can write plus 2 times k plus 1 divided by 2 doesn't make any difference and here we can see that k plus 1 divided by 2 is in common in both of these terms so we can factor them out so this could be written as k plus 1 divided by 2 and inside the bracket we are ended up with simply k plus 2 so simply this simply become k plus 1 times k plus 2 divided by 2 and on the left hand side this is f of k plus 1. So we have proven that this statement is also true for n equals to k plus 1. And here's our final step. Now we are going to find the value of f of 20 21 and we know that our n in this case is 20 21 we are going to fill in the blanks in this formula so that is going to give us n is how much 20 21 times 20 21 plus 1 divided by 2 
And here after all that simple calculation, we figured out that our F of 2021 turns out to be equal to 2,043,231. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.